n acetyl l cystin is a semi-essential amino acid. But should you supplement it? Well, let's find out. Hey, what's up? Greg here, the founder of Your Inception. Welcome to my channel. If you want to learn top secrets about supplements, then subscribe below to start your journey. Today, we're going to talk about n acetyl l cystin or also called NEC. Now, NEC is a supplemental form of cystin, which is a semi-essential amino acid that we get from different kinds of foods, especially those high in proteins. Now, we don't directly get it from those foods, but our body makes it when we get enough foods high in protein. But what happens if we don't have enough of NAC in our system? Well, in this video, we're gonna look at the benefits of supplementing NAC. We're gonna look at the side effects, dosages, and at the end of the video, I'm gonna tell you if I recommend supplementing it or not. So if you're ready, let's just begin. So the first benefit of NAC is that it works as an antioxidant, it has anti-inflammatory benefits, and it can help with detoxification. So basically what it can do, it can flush out some drugs from your system, uh, environmental toxins, and other unwanted toxins and substances that could potentially harm your liver and also kidneys. Secondly, supplementing NEC can potentially boost your brain health. Some studies were done on people that were given a supplemental form of cystin, so anacetyl cystin, and the studies showed that people who were already in cognitive decline, basically, especially people with Alzheimer's disease, have seen the benefits. So basically, supplementing NEC showed that uh, you can slow down cognitive decline in people that already are in this process. Now, why does this happen? Well, there are two reasons. First of all, NEC replenishes glutathione, which is a very important antioxidant. And secondly, NEC regulates the neurotransmitter glutamate. Now, because NEC boosts glutathione levels, it can also do some other things. It can improve our immune function, it can neutralize free radicals, and also decrease cellular damage. Now, on the other hand, because NEC regulates glutamate levels, studies show that supplementing NEC can decrease symptoms of depression and other psychiatric disorders, help people with OCD, and may even decrease cravings of marijuana and nicotine. Last but not least, supplementing NEC can reduce heart disease and even stabilize blood sugar. By the way, guys, if you like this video, please press the like button below. So, as you can see, supplementing NEC can provide a lot of different benefits. But the question is, what is the optimal daily dosage and should you really supplement it? Now, the problem with NAC is that it's not well absorbed in our bodies. So if you're gonna supplement, it's really hard to expect lots of benefits. Now, according to studies, the kind of a accepted daily dosage would be somewhere between 600 milligrams to 1,800 milligrams per day. But again, it's really hard to say uh, how well it's gonna be absorbed for your bodies because your body makes it by itself when you eat foods high in protein. Now, if you take a low dosage of NAC, then what's gonna happen, you shouldn't expect any side effects and NAC is seen as a very safe supplement. However, if you increase the dosage to get more out of it because it's very poorly absorbed, then you can expect certain side effects such as nausea, diarrhea, even stomach pain, and that kind of stuff. So you should really be careful with that. Now, the final question is, do I recommend supplementing NAC or not? Well, according to studies, of course, NAC can provide many benefits, but at the same time, it's really hard to say what kind of benefits you can get if you supplement NAC because it's so poorly absorbed. So based on the studies that I've seen, I would personally not recommend supplementing it, but rather eat enough foods high in protein. If you're vegan, then eat lentils, eat seeds. If you eat animals, then you can eat you know, lots of meats. And if you eat that kind of food, your body should make enough of NAC. Um, and you shouldn't really supplement it. But if you decide to supplement, then I recommend consulting your doctor just to be on the safe side and that you get the best recommendation possible based on your health condition. Cool guys, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to follow your inception on Facebook and Instagram. And don't forget to press the like button below and I hope to see you soon. Take care.